Hi guys, in this video, we are going to learn about renin angiotensin aldosterone system. This is a chemical pathway that leads to formation of aldosterone hormone. And this is a hormone secreted by adrenal cortex and it's an anti-diuretic hormone. Diuretic means urine forming. So anti-diuretic means anti-urine forming or this aldosterone it leads to conservation of water and less urine forming and let's see how this renin angiotensin aldosterone system operates here i have drawn a structure of nephron we have this efferent arterial that comes comes into this glomerulus and goes out at efferent arterial due to pressure other than red blood cell glucose amino acids they are leaked into the glomerulus salt water too and they go to this proximal convoluted tube where a lot of glucose amino acid are absorbed then it goes to the loop of henley loop of henley functions mainly in water and salt conservation and here it becomes this distal convoluted tubule and one part of distal convoluted tubule it has these specialized cells that makes just a glomerular apparatus and it's called just a glomerular because it's near this glomerulus and what it does is it checks what's in the blood in this efferent arterial and what's in this what's in the fluid in this distal convoluted tubule so when the just a glomerular apparatus senses that the blood volume is less then it releases the hormone renin so renin is released by this just a glomerular apparatus and this renin it converts blood inactive hormone this hormone is always in the blood and it's in inactive form angiotensinogen to angiotensin i and this angiotensin i when it goes to pulmonary circulation pulmonary circulation means circulation that originates in heart goes to lung and then comes back to heart again that's pulmonary circulation from heart to lung and back to heart again systemic circulation is from heart to all other body parts and back to heart again but pulmonary is from heart lungs back to heart so when this angiotensin i goes to pulmonary circulation it gets converted to angiotensin ii and this angiotensin ii it stimulates adrenal cortex to release the hormone aldosterone and this aldosterone hormone it leads to conservation of water or less excretion of water from nephron and the way it does it it makes this distal convoluted tubule more permeable to sodium ions so that sodium ions gets outside from this distal convoluted tubule and water from distal convoluted tubule and this collecting tubule it comes outside too due to osmotic gradient so that's the way it leads to conservation of water hope you guys understood what we talked about today please post below if you guys have any questions thank you for watching my videos bye